friends, in this video I am going to show you the tips and tricks of OnePlus 6. Uh, here is my OnePlus 6. Uh, currently let's see the version of Android and RAM. Go to settings and go to about phone. And currently you can see that my phone is running on Oxygen OS 5.1.5 and Android version is 8.1.0. Now let's go back. Uh, you can clearly see the notch on OnePlus 6. So our first is how to hide the notch. So to hide the notch, you need to go to the settings and scroll down and go to display. Under that, the, under notch, there is called notch display. Click on that, and there is an option called hide notch area. You need to select this and go back. When you scroll up, you can see that notch area is hidden. And if you want to get back the notch, you can simply go to the settings again and go to display and go to notch display. Show notch area and go back. You can see the notch. Second one is if you open the camera app and if you take any photos, the watermark short on one place is not showing up. To enable this, what you have to do is you need to go open the camera app and and you have to scroll up and at the top you can see the gear icon. Click on that. You can see there is an option called short on one place watermark. Click on that and enable the watermark. Now go back. Now let's take the photo. Here, if you can see properly, we are getting shot on OnePlus powered by dual camera. And coming to the third feature, on most OnePlus phones, you will have the shelf. When you scroll to the right, you will get the shelf. If you want to disable this shelf, you need to press and hold on the screen and click on home settings and disable this shelf option. Go back. Now, when you swipe to the right, shelf is disabled. If you want to get back the shelf, Click, simply press and hold on the home screen and click on home settings and enable the shelf. Now go back, you can see the shelf is uh, visible. Now press and hold on the home screen and go to home settings again. Under home screen layout, when you click on that, you can see that you have the option to select the number of columns if you want 3, 4 or 5. And even you can increase or decrease the size of the icons also. Now let's go back. And one more tip is that when you go to the settings, click on buttons and there is an option called navigation bar and gestures. Click on that and by default, uh, you will have the navigation bars at the bottom and you can add this navigation bar also and there is navigation gestures. When you enable navigation gestures, navigation bar will be disappear. Now, go, if you want to go back, you need to press this. It will go back to home screen. If you open multiple apps, for example, let's open multiple apps. See how open multiple apps. If you want to multitask, you need to simply swipe up and hold in the middle. It will show the all the open apps. If you want to go back to the home screen, simply swipe up. See how open uh, YouTube app. If you want to go back, you need to uh, scroll up from the either from the left side or right side. See, I'm swiping from the right. It has gone down. Now again, let's try to uh, go back. Uh, swipe from the left, you can see it has go gone back. In this way, you can use the navigation gestures. Now, let's uh, get back the navigation bars. Go to settings and click on navigation bar and gestures. Select fixed navigation bar. You can see that navigation buttons are back. One more tip is that go to settings again. Now, go to gestures. Under uh, this, there is an option called long press to take a photo. When you enable this option, you can take photos with fingerprint scanner. For example, take this and go back to home screen and open the camera. When you pl uh, place your finger on the fingerprint scanner, it will take the photos. See, it has taken the photos. Now let's go back. Go to settings again. Go to gestures. We, we can take a single screenshot using the three fingers. If you uh, want to enable it, you need to enable this three finger screenshot and go back. And let's open any app. See. I have opened this app and I am using three fingers to take the screenshot. In this way, you can take a long screenshot. When you press the button, it will take, uh, it will scroll up. Uh, until you tap on the screen, it will stop. See, I have taken a long screenshot. Now, let's go back and go to settings again and go to gestures. You can double tap to wake up the your phone. When you enable this feature, go back and lock the phone. When you double tap on the phone, it's free. You can wake up the phone. Now, go to settings again and go to gestures. There are other uh, options such as draw o, draw v. When you select this draw o, you can select any one of these applications. I have selected open camera. 
when you lock the phone simply draw o you can see the camera application will open up in that way you can use this multiple uh, options draw s draw m draw w you can try these features now let's go back uh, and go to status bar you can see the battery style under battery style you can see the battery bar you can select either battery circle you can see the battery indicator is now circle you can select battery hidden the battery will be hidden i am going with battery bar and you can even display the network speed also and icon manager you can hide the icons uh, showing up in the notification area for example let's hide wifi if you disable wifi you can see from the notification wifi has gone similarly bluetooth now let's go back and under display you can see there is option called night mode if you enable this option it will be easy on your eyes you can uh, enable uh, night mode option automatically using this feature you can try this options now let's go back and there is option called reading mode also now let's turn off this feature let's go back and one more feature is ambient display click on that and when you enable this light uh, light up display and when you lock the phone you can see that when you uh, swipe up you can see the ambient ambient display you can simply see the time uh, date and battery indicator so on you can even select the clock style also see uh, if you can you can select this style also save and let's lock the phone and simply lift the phone you can see that uh the the ambient display has changed to different configuration uh you can enable notification on ambient display your wish now let's go back and you can even change the theme to light and keeping it dark see you can change the theme to whatever you want you want you can even change the font size also you can try this feature and one more feature of oxygen os you can lock the apps to do that go to settings and go to security and lock screen under that there is option called app locker click on that and select the apps uh, to uh, which you want to lock i am selecting chrome now let's go back and let's try to open chrome you can see the it is asking to enter the pattern in this way you can lock multiple apps That's it guys here are some of the tips and tricks of OnePlus 6 hope you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you